file this under, I'll believe it when I see it. But Samsung Electronics is reportedly close to buying 1 million units of WRGB OLED panels from LG Display for the second half of 2021. Let's talk about this. Hello everyone, Vincent Teo from HDTV Test here. Several South Korean media outlets have started reporting that Samsung Electronics is close to signing an agreement with LG Display to purchase up to 1 million units of WRGB OLED panels for the second half of this year and maybe going up to 4 million units next year in 2022. And this is a big news for various reasons and I'm not going to just dismiss it outright as a rumour because this news has been reported by several reputable Western media as well, including by Steve Dent at Engadget, by John Porter at The Verge and also by Rasmus Larsen at FlatPanelsHD.com. And let's start by exploring the reasons why Samsung may be forced to go down this route to buy WRGB OLED panels from LG Display, which previously Samsung has attacked on multiple fronts. And if indeed finalized, what this deal will mean for OLED technology as a whole, and also in particular for LG Display, who is the only supplier of WRGB OLED panels installed on all the consumer OLED TVs that you can buy on the market today. So, the main reason cited by these South Korean media for Samsung reversing its decision to not go into the OLED TV market is the rising cost of LCD panels and this makes it unprofitable for Samsung to continue trying to market their QLED and Neo QLED TVs on the back of rising LCD manufacturing costs and it is probably just more economical for the South Korean company to just buy WRGB OLED panels from LG Display. And this year, we know that LG Display has really ramped up its production at its Guangzhou plant in China. And this is the reason why you see among 2021 OLED models, the launch prices are generally lower than the prices at launch you know, in 2020 for a corresponding model. I think the question for me is you know, why suddenly now and what this will mean for the QD OLED display technology that is being pitched by Samsung Display Corporation. And you have to remember that the division within Samsung's company that sells TVs, that makes the actual TVs that you can buy in stores, buy on the market, is called Samsung Visual Display, so Samsung VD. And the division that actually is responsible for making the QD OLED panel is Samsung Display and you know the names are so similar and you know sometimes I get confused as well. But if you know that Samsung Display and Samsung Visual Display are two different divisions and they have been at odds as to how to proceed with QD OLED and reportedly Samsung Visual Display division is really not happy with the QD OLED prototypes that have been offered up by the Samsung display division. So there have been reports that the QD OLED prototypes are too dim, they are not bright enough, and also that they are going to be very expensive to manufacture, so the cost won't be as low as the WRGB OLED panels that have been mass produced by LG Display for the past few years, and so they have the advantage in terms of the lowering of manufacturing cost, in terms of the scaling up of the production. So from that point of view, I think it is certainly very tempting to just buy WRGB OLED panels from LG Display. And this year, because of several advancements, including the substitution of the hydrogen compound in the OLED material with deuterium, and also the addition of a green emitting layer, the brightness has been increased from the point of view of LG Display's panels as well. And this may appeal to Samsung's preference for a brighter panel. But I don't know what this will mean for Samsung Display division in terms of the QD OLED panel. Because you know, if let's say Samsung Electronics go with LG Display to secure these WRGB OLED panels, then where does that leave? Samsung display division in terms of their QD OLED prototype because I think they have been struggling so far to really 
ramp up their production because they have no concrete buyers for their QD OLED prototypes and Samsung Electronics or Samsung Visual Display Division refuses to commit as of now because of higher cost and because of low brightness of these QD OLED prototypes and it's a chicken and egg problem you know if Samsung Electronics refuses to commit then there's no reason for Samsung Display Corporation to continue to ramp up production and you know if you don't ramp up production you don't really get the sort of income that you need to pour into R&D to try and increase the potential of the display technology so it's a chicken and egg problem but from the point of view of LG Display if indeed they manage to secure Samsung Electronics or Samsung Visual Display Division as a customer then I think you know <laughs> it's a it's a win in their book you know it's, it's, it's over I think the war is already over because so far the main deterrent for people to buy an OLED TV is mainly because of burn-in and Samsung has always been the most vocal opponent towards OLED technology and they have been attacking OLED TV with numerous campaigns about burn-in, about the potential for screen burn and if Samsung at the end of the day suddenly joins and buy OLED panels from LG display then all these attacks I would assume would stop unless you know Samsung is cheeky enough to continue their path of not acknowledging that they're actually using OLED technology they're still going to continue marketing it as QD display and that's the beauty of adopting the term QD display it could mean anything but I think you know it would be cheeky to still use the term QD display to market these WRGB OLED panels from LG display because you know it doesn't have any quantum dot elements to it at least not you know as far as I know right now <laughs> but you know the politics within these companies is just you know really quite intriguing and I can't wait to see what unfolds but I think if indeed this is inked you know if the deal is finalized if indeed Samsung starts buying LG displays OLED panels then it will be a momentous day for OLED technology in general and once Samsung joins who knows what will happen next maybe they'll even adopt Dolby Vision <laughs> but you know let's wait and see whether this deal is finalized let me know what you think about this development whether you know it will come to fruition or you know you think it is just at the rumor stage and I think currently it is still in discussion stage but the fact that some western media is reporting it shows that it is close to finalization let's see you know what transpires from this if you'd like to watch more videos on next gen display technologies i've created a playlist here if you'd like to click on it and i will see you in the next video